Hello and welcome. We have some fun information about some games with us today. We are going to go over the different types of playing card decks. Now, you must be asking yourself, why would Bob be making a video on this? Well, it's because my next 20 games are going to be played with playing cards and some of them don't use a full deck and I will be using a new deck I got from Europe that has some small differences to it. So let's get started. I have two decks of cards to show the differences between them. The smaller deck is from Germany and is relatively new, like less than two years old. I removed the packaging today. Uh, the larger one is from the United States, and I opened it about 10 years ago, so there is some wear and tear on them. The larger American deck has 52 cards and has an extra two cards known as jokers. Both sets are divided into four different sets known as a suit. These suits are hearts diamonds, spades, and either clubs or clovers, depending on how you want to describe them. Both decks have the number one in each suit being represented with an A for ace, and the numbers two through ten in the American deck with a J, Q, and K are called Jack, Queen, and King. In the German, it is B, D, and K, and those are called Bube, Dame, and Kung, which translates to boy, lady, and king. A joker is only used as a specific set of games and usually has special rules with them, and there's usually from zero up to six jokers in a deck when you first get them, but normally there's just two, depending on the manufacturer. So the normal deck has 52 cards. If there is fewer than 52, then it is called a stripped deck. A French hand or piquette pack is a deck where the numbers two through six are removed so that there are only 32 cards in the deck. That is what the smaller German deck has. There is also a 40 card deck where they remove the eight through 10 numbers instead and a 24 card deck that is removing the cards 2 through 8. A Pinocle deck is a 2 24 decks combined. How I shuffle my decks of cards is with a rifle shuffle and a bridge at the end. Normally I do this three times before I feel as though it's sufficiently shuffled. That is all the things I have to say about these decks. Come back next time to see what I do next.